Our first inductee is Ruth Ella Moore, the first black woman in the country to earn a PhD in the natural sciences. Born in Columbus in 1903, Ruth learned to sew at a young age from her mother, who was a successful artist and seamstress, a member of the black entrepreneurial class in the growing Midwestern city at the turn of the century. With a mind as agile as her fingers, Ruth was pushed by her mother, who had graduated from the Columbus College of Art and Design, to attend college after being educated in the Columbus public school system. After earning undergraduate and graduate degrees from The Ohio State University in the 1920s, Ruth Ellamore became the first black woman in the country to earn a PhD in the natural sciences in 1933. Her dissertation focused on the bacteriology of tuberculosis, which was, at the time, the second leading cause of death in the United States. Bacteriology, what we would now more commonly call microbiology, is considered a foundational science of public health research and practice. After teaching in Nashville at what would become Tennessee State University, Dr. Moore headed to Howard University's College of Medicine in 1940 for an assistant professor position. In 1952, she was named the head of the Department of Bacteriology, the first woman to head a department at that historically black institution. During her decades of research and teaching, Dr. Moore made significant contributions to the study of blood types, immunology, tooth decay, and the reaction of certain pathogens to different types of antibiotics. She became the first black person of either gender to join the American Society of Microbiology, even though she was barred from staying at the hotel or eating with other attendees at a society conference in 1932. Along with her groundbreaking scientific discoveries, Dr. Moore never lost her love for making clothes and fashion. She was often seen on Howard's campus in stylish clothes she made on her sewing machine. Some of her handmade dresses were even featured in 2009 exhibit, The Sewer's Art, Quality, Fashion, and Economy, that was held at the Campbell Hall as a part of Ohio State's historic costume and textiles collection. While Dr. Moore died in 1994 in Rockville, Maryland, she is well remembered today as a legendary Renaissance woman, a scholar, scientist, educator, and talented seamstress who blazed the trail for so many to follow. What relevance does Ruth Ellamore have for students in public health today? Well, there's not only the work that she did as a microbiologist, as a bacteriologist, that continues to be relevant as we fight the global scourge of tuberculosis, but there's also her impact as a trailblazer. We were so impressed with her career, her leadership in public health, the role she played in the American Public Health Association over time, helping to build a field that broadened from being rather narrowly focused on bacteriology and on the laboratory to being um, focused on the social determinants of health, um, the root causes of disease, chronic diseases as we developed over the course of the, the 20th century. Uh, she was someone we wanted to honor here at the College of Public Health with a scholarship. So we created the Ruth Ellen Moore Scholarship for Trailblazers, and we're focusing that effort on students, um, first-generation students, students who are trailblazing, who are coming from populations that haven't often been represented in the, in the leadership fields of public health. And so we're really pleased to honor Ruth Ella Moore through this new scholarship that we will have that's focused on primarily on first-generation college students. She was basically the only one in the family that had gone to college, so she was really sort of on a pedestal as far as the rest of us were concerned. And uh, thinking back on it, I think I was born with a hidden family treasure. And... Uh, the learning curve for a family history in childhood grows to amazing heights even before you're aware of it. Those family members you begin to meet during that first year of life are not ordinary, everyday persons you thought they might be. Those grown-ups you've been around decades have done decades of things that are wonderful and unordinary and extraordinary things. My cousin Ruth was living in Washington, D.C. So in other words, to me, she was just out of town and out of sight. And I regret not being able to see her more often. 
I would have been a better student. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara Robertson. I'm a third year biology major at The Ohio State University. For me, Ruth Ellen Moore's legacy means pursuing our interests and our dreams, despite of not knowing the outcome. In life and in research, there's a lot of time when you don't know the outcome or you won't know the result. But Ruth Ellen Moore, she still pursued her goals and dreams and her achievements in research without knowing the outcome. We all could take an example from her and pursue our life without fear and with determination, despite the uncertainty of the future. <laughs>